Hey, it's Jake, and the next thing we're going to go over is module outputs. So we've already seen outputs, and it's essentially the same thing. So if we have um, uh, a value in our module that we want to output, then we can take that output and make an output in another uh, file. So what I mean by that specifically is, let's say I'm in prod, okay? and I'm in main and I want to add an output file here so I'm just going to add outputs.tf and I'm going to go down to stage right and in the web server cluster that's where I'm doing this I'm going to add another outputs.tf okay then in the past if I go grab an old an old one what I've done before is let's see if I've got one here did I put it in the bottom of my main? Yeah, I have this like this output, the auto scaling, or the the load balancer, the application load balancer. I want that value. I want the DNS name. So maybe I want to go do some testing. So what you do is in my web server cluster for stage in my outputs file, I would just say, hey, output the. I don't like capital letters. I'm gonna see the ALB DNS. And the value is going to be something, right? But it's going to be passed from, and I'll go ahead and put this in prod as well. It's going to be passed from my module. So my module is also going to have outputs. So you can do this in the same main file, or you can create a new file. I like to do new files just in case I end up having a lot of outputs. Um, just keeps it a little bit shorter. So I'm going to say, I'm going to create an output called ALB DNS, and the value of that output is going to be wherever my, my ALB is, right? So if I go to modules, I go, here's my security group, here's my ALB. It's called AWS ALB uh, Terraform ALB, and then I want the DNS name. So I'll go AWS underscore ALB dot um, terraform alb dot uh, dns name is dns name where are you at then i get the name right let me see alb aws alb terraform alb and then we want the dns name what did i use in the other one let's go look yeah it's actually this exact value. Let's go to outputs for, that's my stage, uh, modules. There we go, modules. So it should just be that. AWS ALB dot Terraform ALB dot DNS name. And let's just double check that that's what I named it. Uh, let's go take a look at my module, Terraform ALB. All right, cool, that's what I named it. So that should give me my DNS name as an output. But where does it output it? Actually, it outputs it to the state file. <laughs> so it doesn't really give you um, any specific information because we're not going to be running Terraform Apply from the root module of this module. We're going to be running it from like stage outputs. So then what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to define this somewhere, right? Um, so let me actually just give this a little description really quick. Description equals uh, DNS name of my ALB. And I'm going to copy this sucker and I'm going to stick it in my prod outputs file. And I'm going to stick it, let's see, I got my stage, I got it in the, my prod, now I got it in my modules. Cool. So that is that. So now the way you describe this in, I'll do stage for first, maybe. Yeah, I'll do stage first. The value is instead of saying like we did like data before, data dot something, we're actually going to use module dot web server cluster because that's the module we imported dot 
and then you would do the a uh, uh, alb underscore dns is what i called it yeah and then that va that value being passed from the module is the one that you're going to end up getting so i'll just use both of these to be the same output and then let me go ahead and format this sucker for prod and then we'll do the same thing for stage make that clean and then we'll do the same thing for the module itself yeah there's my outputs file clean that up all right so now that looks good my prod looks good my stage looks good so now let's try running uh, let's go to stage let's do a terraform oops terraform validate and make sure i didn't mess up any of my configuration along the way aha uh -huh. here we go what do we have unsupported attribute so in the outputs line it says uh, alb dns is not a thing and that's something that i messed up somewhere along the way i guess it should just be the name of the output alb dns so from the module i have modules where did i put oh because it's in the wrong folder see that mm, tricky all right now let's try it there we go so if you could see what i did was i didn't put my outputs in my modules folder it was in my tf up and running two folder so that's not going to work okay so stage looks good let's check prod prod looks good so let's go ahead and try a terraform plan and see what kind of output it's going to stick in my state file and you're going to see that it's probably going to be like i don't know right because you have to build it first but now that's what we're going to end up getting so i'm going to go ahead and run a terraform apply and see if this actually works because i changed a bunch of stuff and i don't know if it's going to work or not yes Alrighty, here we go. So I'm going to pause this while this creates because the load balancer takes forever, and then I'll come back when it's done to show you the output. Okay, they are all done, and I've got an output. ALB DNS is the Nimbus DevOps ALB stage, a random string of numbers in US West 1, and that's an elastic load balancer, it's more specifically an application load balancer, AmazonAWS.com. Which is awesome because I, at no point in my stage file, wherever my main file is for stage, here it is, I, at no point did I actually create one here, which means it's pulling in my module correctly and it's passing in my load balancer name correctly and it's passing and my module is passing the output which um, my my root module here is able to pick up and pass as an output here successfully so that's great great news um, so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy my resources so that is essentially how module outputs work. They're not too much different than regular uh, outputs, except you need to just kind of pass along that extra, hey, I have an output, and then so go be like, okay, I see you, and then module dot whatever as your output here, like I did with um, with this file here, module dot name your module dot name of the output in order to get that. So if you have any questions, let me know. But if not, um, have fun outputting all the things.